Hey Jefferson Eagles, Mr. Bishop here. Hey, so we're going to take a quick break from the regular words of wisdom this month so that we can talk about something really important to our school, which is the Eagle expectations. These are the expectations that we have at our school for not only all the kids, but for all the adults as well. For today, I'm going to cover some of the most important expectations that we could use some work on. We're going to walk around the school a little bit and just get on track with where we need to be in this new school year. By the way, I'm going to be pretty straightforward throughout this video so that it's really clear about our expectations and about the Jefferson way. So. Let's go. To begin, let's talk about the hallway. In the hallway, there's a really big rule that you have to follow, and that is don't run. I think that it's really helpful if you understand the why behind that, so let's talk about that now. So one of the first reasons for why you shouldn't run is because it's a big disruption to all the other classes and the people around you, because we can hear that really loudly in our rooms. The second reason is that you could potentially hurt yourself and or other people by being too quick. And the third reason is that it's just disrespectful. It might seem like you're saving a ton of time by running through the hallway to get out to recess, for example, but you're really not. Also, we don't talk in the hallway because, again, that's a really big disruption to all the classes around you. You're walking a single file, straight line on the right-hand side, and that really helps everyone to know exactly where everyone else is going to be. So one more quick rule to go over is about hats and chewing gum. So hats and gum are not allowed in the school, um, and that's in the hallway, but it's also in the classrooms. Um, it wouldn't be fair if some classes got to chew gum and wear hats, whereas other classes didn't get to chew gum and wear hats. You can wear hats outside though. Now listen, brief note on rules. When you grow up, there are rules and laws that you have to follow, and if you don't follow those, then that can lead to some big problems. People might not agree with some of those rules, just like you might not agree with some of the rules that we have here at Jefferson, but you still have to follow them. Right? It's like when I'm driving to work every day, the speed limit is about 60 miles an hour most of the time. Now, I can't just start driving 90 miles an hour because I feel like it and I don't like the rule. I mean, I can, but I'll get pulled over by an officer and then I'll have a big fine and that won't be good for me. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to set you up for the future. We're not just trying to be mean or strict. We are trying to help you as you get older. Now in the cafeteria, here are some of the things that have been standing out lately. The number one thing is use your manners. Um, so when you go through the lunch line, it's really important that you say, yes please, no thank you, thank you. Those words go a really long way. Some of our kitchen staff gets here as early as six o'clock in the morning, and that's to serve you and to give you a smile and make your day brighter. So please show respect and use your manners because it's the right thing to do. So another one is in the cafeteria, we don't cut. Cutting is unnecessary, it frustrates everyone. Um, so please don't do that. And if you see that someone is cutting, please tell them to stop. If they continue to do it, report it to an adult that's in charge. So the third thing is please don't take extras of any food unless you're given specific permission to do that. Generally speaking, it wouldn't be fair for you to get extras of something when other kids don't get extras. Lastly, cafeterias are not supposed to be a place of mass chaos and messes everywhere. So make sure that you're using your soft voices, you're picking up after yourself, and above all, just be respectful to the adults in charge, but also to each other, because everyone deserves respect. So at Jefferson, there are three personal standards that we live by, and the first is showing respect, the second is making good decisions, and the third is solving your problems. Now sometimes when I go into classrooms or I see kids at specialists, one thing that I've noticed is that some students are not listening to the teacher. Now in my classroom, it's an absolute must that any time that I'm speaking, or another student is speaking, or another adult is speaking, that everyone in class is giving that person their full attention. Now the reason for that is simple. Everyone deserves respect. All of you listening, you all deserve respect. Imagine for a moment that you're at the front of your classroom and you're giving a presentation. You want it to sound nice and quiet and people are looking at you and they're being respectful. You don't want to hear side conversations or distractions or people throwing stuff around because that's not respectful to you. That's one thing we really need to work on. We also need to make good decisions. Playing video games in class, for example, not a good decision. Blurting or yelling in class, not a good decision. Now helping your peers, that's a great decision. Following your teacher's instructions is a good decision. Now when you make good decisions, you are basically showing how well you can handle things and that's really, really important. And then finally, we solve our problems. So try to think creatively about how to solve a problem first on your own and if you can't come up with a solution, then talk to your peers or then talk to your teacher or another adult who's in charge and they can help you. Now finally, out at recess time, you know what? It's too dark, I'll come back in a minute. Okay, that's a little better. So anyway, the same three standards apply out at recess. Show respect, make good decisions, and solve your problems. You can always use the Kelso's Choice banners outside on the playground to help you as well. The big thing to remember on the playground is to stay as safe as possible, and that if you see other people that are bullying or being unsafe themselves, 
to report that to an adult that can help. So there you have it. Now you probably noticed throughout this video that there weren't really any jokes or silliness or special effects or anything like that, and I designed it that way so that the expectations are really, really clear. Now in a week or two from now, Mr. Newell is going to get on his announcement video and he's going to share with us how he feels the Eagle expectations are going and anything else that we might still need to be working on. But until then, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.